Hey, what's going on, y'all? So I made a video about Plask AI, I think, a couple of days ago, and some of y'all were asking how uh, you can add kind of like a root bone to the skeleton from Plask. And unfortunately, right now, obviously, there's not one. I'm hoping they can add it. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I am going to be letting you guys download this video as well that I made, did a little test that I made so you guys can follow along. Uh, let's go ahead and go to get started, similar to what we did last time. And then we're going to go ahead and export a bind post here. So I'll go to visualization and then we'll export this T post again. And that's okay. Okay, so that mannequin is now good to go. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of put this here in this folder. I just created a new one. And this is scale mesh. You don't have to rename this, but I'm just going to make it a little bit easier for us here. Okay, perfect. And then the next step is again, drag in and drop in that video. Check the description for the link. And it's pretty much me just, you know, talking and walking around and it's going to play it back. Right, so that's good. And let's go ahead and do the extract motion right here. Name this walking, talking, press okay. Okay, so mine finished and that took about four to five minutes. So depending on your system, I'm not sure how that long it's gonna take, but just be patient with it. Don't touch your computer or anything. And then hopefully yours will work as well. So, all right, so here it is, our walking and talking animation. And that will go ahead and delete our bind post right here because we don't longer need it. And we will drag and drop this to our mannequin. And now you're going to see my motion here from that video. And I can press play. All right? So that's kind of good right there. And I can probably extend this too. Because there's a lot more than just 100 frames. So I just extended that so you can have the entire animation of kind of me moving around. And again, for being a 2D solve, one camera... This is actually pretty darn good. And it's free too. It's freaking bananas. Okay, so I have that now. And what we'll do is export this. So I'll go to right click, export. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like that. Press export right now. And again, don't touch your computer. Just let it load because it looks like it's frozen right now. But just let it go. Okay, so after that's done, it's going to download this file again. Now I just copied and pasted this to the same folder as our skeletal mesh. So you can see right here, scale mesh uh, in for both of these files right here. And then what we're gonna do next is download a plugin for Blender. Now Blender is also free, so go ahead and download it. I'm using Blender 3.0. So the link you want is actually right here. And I'll put it in the description below. But basically it is right here. And what you're looking for is the code. So I'm gonna go right here and just download the zip. And then for the sake of this tutorial, I will just put it right here. All right, let's go ahead and open up Blender 3.0 right now. Go ahead and delete these. And I'm going to edit preferences. I'm going to go to the add-ons, install. And I'm going to that folder now. And if I click the zip right here, this is now going to install that plugin. If I type in Mixamo right here, you're going to see that the animation Mixamo converter is now enabled because there's a check mark we'll close this here now you can do this in maya as well but i already have blender i like blender better and it's free so i always like to you know push people to get the free stuff and on the right side right here there is an arrow and click that and now you're going to see the plugin right here all right so that's perfect so you can bash convert this but for some reason maybe it's not updated for 3.0 yet i cannot get it to work as far as batch goes so we're going to do this one by one so i'm going to file and I'm going to import FBX. And we're going to that Mixmo folder now. And we're going to go to the in. And we're going to grab the skeletal mesh first. So double click that. And now this should be our skeletal mesh with a T pose. Now what I'm going to do is I'll delete this light. Go to the armature. I'm going to the advanced options. Uncheck this. This is namespace. And use Unreal Engine right here. All right, and then as you can see right here, it says apply root. I mean, you can't see the whole thing, but just make sure you're, you're using the same exact thing here. And now I'm going to go convert single. Okay, after you do that, you're going to see now we have a root bone now. So what we'll do next is select this, press A, and that's going to select everything. File, export, FBX. And now we're going to save this in the out folder. So scale, mesh out and you can name it whatever you want i'm going to export this as a mesh and if i press shift i can go to armature and that's good now 
There's no animation on this, so I can uncheck that if I want. Click on armature and make sure add leaf bones is turned off. Okay, everything should be good. And let's export this now. Now this is fairly quick and that's probably done. And what I'll do next is create a new file. General, don't save. And again, we'll delete these. And we will import now the one with the animation. Remiximo in actual animation. Now this is the actual animation we exported from Plask. Again, I'm just gonna delete the light. Click on the armature, go back to that plugin, Miximo, and again, go to advance, remove namespace, and then use Unreal Engine, apply root, and then I'm going to convert. Now we have root again, select skeletal mesh or the mannequin, press A, file, export, FBX. We're gonna go back to that same folder called out. And now I'm going to name this out. We're gonna click the armature and the mesh. I'm gonna go to armature right here and click on add leaf bones, make sure that's not checked. And this time around, I'm going to include the animation. So I'll export it now. And again, that's done. What we'll do next is go to Unreal Engine. I already have a folder right here. And I'll just kind of make this, change my camera speed. Already created a folder called Plask. And then we're gonna to go to that Mixamo out right here. And now we'll drag and drop the skeletal mesh first. Everything's good. And then I will import. This is good. Now we have the skeletal mesh now. I can drag and drop. Delete them for now. I just wanted to see if it works. And the next thing we'll do is go to that out folder and drop the animation FBX in there. Now this is already going to find the skeleton. This skeleton right here is this skeleton. So that's good. I'm going to click import animations because we have an animation there. If you want to change this, you can change this to 60 if you want. If I scroll down, I'm going to change this to zero and then I will import. Close this here. I'm going to double click this animation sequence now. And you're going to see our mannequin walking around like in the video that I shot. Okay. Now, if I click on the skeleton and go to the skeleton right here and make this bigger for y'all, you're now going to see that there is a root bone. If I go to character bones, all hierarchy, there is now a root bone. In my previous video, there was no root bone. It was missing. But what we did was we used Blender using a plugin. We added a root bone for this. Now, again, like I said, hopefully Plask will add a root bone. But for now, this is kind of like a way to add a root bone. So now if we drag and drop this here and we set it and press play, now you're going to see that animation. Right, and it looks like he's floating a little bit, so I can kind of move him down. But for a 2D solve, one camera in front of the talent for free, for now at least, I think. This is pretty good. Like, to be honest, you can make some movies with this. If it's just a standing and talking, absolutely. Alright, with that being said, let me know if y'all have any questions. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm almost at 50,000 subscribers, so please do help me out. And I'll see y'all later.